Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As you know, we are doing history of English literature on this channel and I have completed 15 videos. So if you have not watched those, those videos, you can check out them. Today we are doing Christopher Marlowe and before that I created a video that was very important. So let me tell you, you can uh, check out on channel The Fairy Queen and all the notes you can find out in that note. If you want to buy these notes, handwritten notes from Chaucer to modern period, you can directly message me on WhatsApp. I will send you PDF. So let's see this. Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe's two works are here. Uh, some works are here, important works. Hero and Leander. That was incomplete work and it was due to his death. And later it was completed by Chapman. Uh, who also translated other works like Iliad in 1611 and Odyssey in 1613 too. This story is taken from uh, Matthew, M U S A E W, a 15th century grammarian. Now, next is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare's Venus and Adonis got published in 1593. The Rape of Lucrece in 1594, dedicated to Earl of South, and Shakespeare proceeded to represent the rape of a chaste wife Lucrece by a rest debauchee Traquin. T R A Q U I N. Other works are uh, about Venus and Adonis. Here is a short note. You can see Venus falls in love with Adonis in that work. And who cares for hunting and rejects her love? And he was lit, uh, later he was killed by a wild boar, and he was transformed into a stone. So this is the story of Adonis and Venus. Songs by Shakespeare. Some songs he mentioned in his work. So first one is "Tell Me Where Is Fancy Bread." This is by Bessenio and in the work The Merchant of Venice. Sing No More Ladies. This uh, was by Balthazar and in the work Much Ado About Nothing. Take O oh, Take Those Lips Away in Measure for Measure. In poetry, other thing, uh, other than these works, the important thing is sonnet. It was originated, this is form of poetry. It was originated in Italy in 14th century, as you can see. Uh, it comes from the word sonetto, and sonetto means a little sound. Sonnet reached England in the third decade of 16th century, and White introduced a Petrarchan model. He wrote 31 sonnets. In this period, first one, uh, we can categorize them. First one is Elizabethan sonnetier, Thomas Watson. In 1582, he published 100 poems of love or passions. These were 18 lines long. So remember, this is a specific thing about uh, Thomas Watson. He wrote 18 lines long sonnets. Second volume by Watson was The Tear of Fancy or Love Disdain. These were in 14 lines. Sir Philip Sidney, he followed Petrarchan model and Astrophel Estella was his work. This work marks the real beginning of sonnet. Petrarch wrote for Laura and Sidney wrote for Penelope. So there were there were some ladies whom they loved and they wrote sonnets for them. So Petrarch's motivation you can say or his love was for Laura and Sidney's love for Penelope. Edmund Spencer, a theater of wordlings his early collection. Second one was Amorati and that was collection of 88 sonnets for Elizabeth Boyle. So you can remember Edmund Spencer, Elizabeth Boyle, Sidney, Penelope and Petrarch wrote for Laura. Here is a short note you should remember. Number of satires were written by uh, different writers. First was Voight. Voight wrote three satires. Joseph Hall wrote 34 satires, Laws wrote 4, Dunn wrote 5, and Spencer wrote 1. Okay, in the next video, we will be talking about prose. 
of release a period hopefully you like this video if you like the work you can uh, simply you can subscribe you can share and you can like the video thank you for being with me see you in next video till then bye bye take care good luck for it